wanted to do a very special book haul for you a couple weeks ago, I guess it was. Um, I entered um, Killy from A Bibliophile's Journey. She had a giveaway for her 800 subscribers. So I uh, tossed my name into the ring and entered her giveaway and it was a $50 gift certificate to Book Depository, which is really awesome. Um, so as a way to thank her, I thought I would do a little bit of a book haul to show you what I got as a result of that giveaway. So I was able to select four books um, with my 50 bucks. Uh, first one is, and what was also awesome about it is that they all arrived at the same time. Uh, well, I, I, no, I mean at different times. So it was like getting a book package a day. So that was pretty cool. So anyway, first one that showed up was Dreyer's English and that's by Benjamin Dreyer. I think I've, I've talked about this a little bit before. This is actually going to be my book for the booktube spin um, that I have to read um, before the end of March, I believe. So, um, so Benjamin Dreyer, he's the copywriting chief of Random House, and this one is a, um, it, it says it playfully deconstructs and demystifies the English language in what is arguably the perfect guide, not just for writers, but for everyone who wants to put their best prose foot forward. So that one sounds awesome. Um, second book that I got was The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Disha Filial. Um, she is a Pittsburgh author, so I am thrilled to, um, to read this one. Kind of a fun fact about this, about, I want to say about maybe five years or so ago, my daughter took a writing class with her at our local library. It was just one of those, like, Saturday afternoon workshops types of things for teens and um, you know signed her up and it was you know maybe about like you know two hours long or whatever but it was taught by Disha Phil y'all so now I keep telling her how awesome it is that someone who's won who's um, been a finalist for the National Book Award actually taught some something that she was a writing class that she was in so that was pretty awesome and Next book is one I've wanted to own for a while, Virginia Woolf. It's hard to set, see. You can see that a little bit better there. Um, a Room of One's Own. This is based on the premise that a woman must have money and a room of her own if she is to write. This is a really famous essay of hers, and it's just one that I just haven't gotten around to reading. I did buy it, uh, a copy, about... Hmm, I don't know, maybe two years ago now from um, Half Price Books, and it was so musty, and I don't have a sense of smell. I didn't. I never had a sense of smell before um, COVID or anything like that. Uh, just was just was born that way, and um, but the smell of the book. My husband was saying that it was just unbelievably like bad. So away it went. So anyway. So I was glad to get another copy of A Room of One's Own. And finally, the final book that I got with my $50 from Book Depository is The Old Curiosity Shop by Charles Dickens. Um, if you watch Keeley's channel, and I highly suggest that you do, Keeley is doing a um, project this year where she is reading all of Dickens' major novels. And so I thought that as... Um, I, I thought that this would just be a good idea to just get a Dickens book for, as with uh, Keeley's generosity. So anyway, the old curiosity shop. Um, I don't know really much about this one, but like Keeley, I've wanted to read more Dickens. Um, so this is one that was written in 1840 through 1841, and it is with its combination of the sentimental, the grotesque, and the socially concerned, and its story of pursuit and courage, which sets the downtrodden and the plucky against the malevolent and the villainous, was an immediate popular, popular success. Little Nell quickly became one of Dickens' most celebrated characters, who so captured the imagination of his readers that while the novel was being serialized, 
many of them wrote to him about her fate. Anyway, so Old Curiosity Shop by Dickens. So these are the four books that I got from with my gift card. So thank you so much, Keely. I should also say too, look at these so awesome bookmarks that they came with. Um, New Year, Naughty You. Um, this year it's okay to cheat on your New Year's resolutions as long as it's with a book. Um, and then, yeah, so another one. And there was a purple one too. The same one as, as that other. So, Anyway, so again, thank you, Keely. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited about getting to these. And I um, will link Keely's channel down below for you all to uh, follow her, subscribe to her channel. She has awesome content. She reads classics and some fantasy. And um, yeah, so she, she's just an awesome person. So thanks so much, Keely. And I will talk to you all again in my next video real soon. Thanks. Bye.